Welcome to part two. As the cell phone decided to quit recording halfway through, so the actual important part of the video was lost. Uh, during upload, I started eating though. So please excuse me again. But then again, this is my channel. If you don't like it, well, I guess tough shit. Tough. It's a tell well, folks. Mucho loves. But this is my channel. YouTube, as in this is a me tube. Frank here, compliments of five flames. Thank you so much, homie. Oh my god. Um, but anyways, okay. Now I'm trying to recall where I left off on the other video. Oh yeah, the ace of spades. And oh, no wonder it cut off. It cut off right after I said 13 years. Oh, imagine that. Holy fucking shit. Pardon my not so French, but yeah, guess what? I am part French, so foutoi! Foutoi, foutoi, foutoi! Oh, scusi, scusi, foutoi! I also have a great uncle that died in World War One, defending Poland from Nazi Germany. He already overtook enough, and they're like, no, no, you don't get Poland too. Um, anyways, Gold Star Mother. I also have an uncle that was in the Navy. He never made it home. He is. My mom believes raped by a group at sea and was ran over on his way home. And, well,. I'm sure General's daughter's not totally based on fiction, much less other, other such. And alleged, you know, you can see the Native American in my mom and her, my uncle, and both my uncles, even though I never saw the one, all my mother had to say was that he was a beautiful Native man. And anyways, I'm sure some fucking jackasses, you know. I mean, it's not like I'm totally ignorant of the fact that the military sticks shit in the fucking food so that they can't get hard-ons. Not sure if that's in the fine print and if you fucking know that or not. But, yeah, and it's true. Don't fucking try and come to my shit and tell me. I got military in the family. I almost joined twice. And guess what? Patriarchy won. But guess what? I'm glad I don't fucking serve my ass off for this. You know how many veterans I've been on the street with? And not just because they're freaking, you know, they came back and fucking, you know. But it doesn't help that they fucking got addicted while they were over a war and come back all fucked off. And like any of the fucking people sitting in office would have fucking risked their fucking ass. Anyway, oh good God, I want to fucking just line up every, every fucking, I'll probably wrap around the world fucking 1500 times. Anyway, oh yeah, anyways, this is the second half to a video about, um, it was a shout out to a few people. I like one because I was actually watching his video because and then I got a fucking feeling to pull four cards out of my Lateria deck and I explained that to him in the first video and shout out to Jacob Israel because of the fourth card to pull and a weird story that went, went with that because of one of his videos where he's talking about scorpions and he said if something happened 
within an hour about another Scorpio or Scorpion or something, he was going to make a video. And, well, he ended up making a video. And it just so happened while I was watching his video, a dude rolled up to my door from a friend down the hall who I'm no longer, he's not allowed to talk to me anymore. And that's been told to a few other people too. And I'm serious. I told him I'd shoot him with my BB gun if he fucking, if he bothered me. And, I'm, and I think he hopefully knows I'm serious. But anyways, um, his buddy come to ask for sugar and... I noticed that he had the zodiac symbol for Scorpio, like a tear on his face, right under his eye. <laughs> Anyways, I actually commented that on Jacob Israel's video. And then the dude actually, as but right before he left, he actually uh, told me I could have my sugar back and that he just wanted to come talk to me. And then I was like, well, I already knew. And I told him, oh, so now you're being honest with me. And then he left. And I didn't see him again. My friend came down and was like, oh, you didn't even let him in? It's like, hell no. And anyway, he's cut off too. I'm done. I'm done with fucking dudes pulling their stupid bullshit. Tell me I don't know anything. It's like, nah. Just because you don't, don't fucking mean I don't. I don't want I want to fucking know. And it's so nice to see everybody catching up finally. The bullshit. I was telling my mom to say all this shit for when I was a little kid. And then when I got to be a teenager and learned how to fucking read and figure shit out. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just a little white American girl, right? Fuck you. No more balls than most men on this fucking now polluted fucking fishbowl because humans want to be ignorant and disgusting just like Mr. Smith says I can smell your nastiness anyway but that's with like so much love even for the fucking damn keyboard warrior trolls go hide under your bridge and shut up and fucking listen you're being fucking the ass too. Royally. And they make you think it's two different sides. They're on the same fucking side. Not your side. Anyway, I forgot where I was going with that. I'm still, I've still got kind of a headache. Oh yeah, Jacob Israel. The birds. Yeah, the birds. The owls. Boop, boop, be doop, boop. Okay. Now, I actually read, because Wikipedia, okay, now, I don't think, oh, yeah, the 13. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I can't even, anybody that's been around me, it's like, just be thankful, and I tell them that you're not in my head. Well, Wikipedia, and because... And I thought this video uploaded, so I put the cards back, but I think I showed on the first video what I did when I first pulled them. Because I first randomly... Pulled them out. Dude, did I, I, I shuffled them really good probably last time I used them which was like a week ago I can actually go on my Facebook and I can exactly find out because I only pull one card usually <laughs> and that's usually enough um anyways I can check that but I haven't touched them since and I don't know if that should be the Luna card no um, Negrito I guess I've pulled a few since then. Okay, see, there's the Luna card. Oh, and there's the spider that I brought up at one point because of the fact that. And I never, I and I haven't pulled that card. But it just so happens this was the last uh, card I recall pulling and actually sharing with somebody because he's got a thing for the number twenty three. 
You can list any any 23s you can think of, you know, like uh, LeBron James getting Michael Jordan's number, 23, Jim Carrey, 23 equals 5, La Luna, and then I, I think I read that earlier, The Lamp of the Lovers, whatever, anyways, and then I pulled these other two cards and I never, I didn't share them with anybody. I'm not going to read those, but if you would like to know what they say, you can pause it, write it down, and go to Wikipedia. As for those, now, as I usually take, and I put the finished ones there, as you can see, I didn't make it too far before, you know, just watching dude's channel, I pulled, you know, I randomly went through, I pulled two in the middle, and then the third one I pulled from the very end, that way, on this end, because I know I don't put the newbie, the ones I've already seen there, and then one from around this area, whatever, anyways, I just went meh, 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 and then fourth, okay, I was done. I mean, our constellation, uh, what is it? Serpent's Kaput? <laughs> Where he's got his foot on the scorpion's head. And then there's something about the tail. But anyways, it gets into that with this card. Because these cards have little, like, quotes on the back. And kind of funny. And anyways, I went to Wikipedia and wrote them all down. And then it's funny because it will tell you that the numbers don't mean anything necessarily. And I think I already just said that because of my buddy. But anyways, there's a few cards that I've given meaning to. Like there is a pair, which is an actual pair. That's like my twin flame card. But in this deck. But whatever. Anyways, go with it or not. It's an as is. As is reading. Uh, welcome to my channel, me, myself, and I are in the driver's seat here, and anybody that wants to come talk and smack, believe me, you probably can regret it, eh, maybe not, but you're, you won't like it, I guarantee it. help you out later anyways um do a dab and hail Di hail diamond and jacob israel yo this is for you my son my son because the first card i pulled it's gonna get there in a second I knew I was going to pull it. And, every, and I I almost want I almost want to start crying because it's like I fucking knew it and it's like I've done that so many times. And in front of people. And it's like like telling my ace of spades story, which I don't think I got into that, but I did say it was I got to where I was 13 years old. And those that have seen my comments of like Wayne Steiger, Jeffrey Dougherty, Rex Bear, Richie Boston, Richie from Boston, etc., 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 you'll see where it clicks, I guess, at some point. Unless you're a newbie. Okay, let me get into this and do this and. All right, but see now what kind of cr it creeped me out because, like I said, the first card I pulled, for some reason, I I knew, I fucking knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, and and then I actually have verification on that too. I sent 
a few people uh, in Facebook Messenger the video for Nine Inch Nails in Into the Void from the movie Final Destination where, where it just so happens the kid's birthday is 180. In fact, his alarm clock the night before he's supposed to catch his flight to France for a field trip and blah, blah, blah. It glitches. <laughs> the fucking clock glitches and says 180. I used to have this movie on VHS. It's still one of my favorites in a way. Because, well, it was cleverly done anyway. And I like horror movies, so whatever. Anyway, welcome to my channel again. Um, but anyways, he falls asleep on the plane as they're boarding. And the plane blows up and a bunch of shit. But he wakes up and realizes it was just a dream. But then shit starts happening just like it did in the dream. And he freaks out. And like six people get off the plane. And anybody who's seen the movie will know what I'm talking about already. But just to give you the lowdown. I really dig the song Into the Void. When uh, right before dude's girlfriend gets hit by the bus. And it's so fucked up because I've made bus, you know. I, that's one part of one reason why I didn't quit smoking. Because it was like I'd probably get hit by a bus first. And then now buses made me think of Keanu Reeves. And it's like, what the fuck? Anyway, whatever. Uh, anyways, that song is playing in his car when he did fucking badass fucking super sport. But anyway, I shared that. But... <laughs> It just so happens that my son was born on Valentine's Day, which is the 14th, right? Yeah. And a couple times in the last probably two weeks, I brought up a drawing that I did, which on the other... If the video had kept going in the other video... I got onto my Facebook with my iPad while I was taking the video with the camera so I could look up the picture of this that I drew in 2008. Of course, he's wearing a robe and he's standing in front of somebody's door and he's like, he's knocking and then there's a little like thought bubble saying his ass better be home this time. Because my ex wanted to get a tattoo of a Grim Reaper, but... I knew I was going to pull this card. I have pictures somewhere where it's like, it's all dudes. Like there's a pirate and there's a drunk guy and there's a freaking, there's an Indian. And it was like all, and then there was a soldier and then it was just, I have a picture of that somewhere. Because yes, I started documenting them. But not not video wise anyways and then I have you seen La, La Muerta Toriki Laka and see I, I did all this before but the video stopped five minutes into it and I knew it was longer but I thought it uploaded too fast okay wait what number 14, duh. And then the same thing happened on the other videos. Like, why did I have to look that up? I should know that by heart. But I also have a headache. It's still, it's like still really slight. But it's gone away for the most part. So. I need to do this differently. 14, oh. Death. Death, thin and lanky.
Anyways. Bottom line, I knew it was going to pull that card in the 14. And blah, blah, blah. And then I pulled a parrot. A bird. There's a few in here. Katoro. Taka la pata. Why empieza me a platicar. And I'm sure I hacked the shit out of that. But at least I gave it a try. And then of course it's the parrot. And then parrot. Parrot. Stick out your claw. And begin to chat with me. And then I pulled 22, which, you know, is a master number. The Buddha. A boot, the same as the other twins, huh? Okay. Yeah, and I said that on the other video, but hey, a pair of boots, right? And then, this is where Jacob Israel came in. The 40. And then I thought this one because going as far as the birth dates go again, I'll be 40 next year. And El Alacran? Like a crawfish, maybe? As above, so below. Lobster is the opposite of a scorpion, maybe? Hmm? El Cucan La Cola Pica. And then this one kind of, this is where it kind of kicked it up. Was this, it was, it was the kick, uh, 40. The Scorpion. He who stings with his tail will get a beating. Anyway. And, oh, I don't think I got to show off this card. I showed off the Ace of Spades and then said whatever I said and it cut off. I show off my Meowth card. If you know anything about Pokemon, this is the only Pokemon that speaks English. And in the Matrix, you have a cat. Deja vu. Cat, cat, cat from outer space. And Bruce just commented, Hi, Bruce. Anyway, you know, me and Tinkers, oh, at least I hope I have the whole video on my phone still, because she looked right at me, and her eyes looked so cool. But anyways, I used to have a Japanese ho uh, holographic gold duck card, and that was around... Um, 2001, so I was almost 21. That card was worth $30 already at that time. And I think I paid like, I paid, no, nah, wait, wait, wait. No, I traded like fucking six or eight Pokemon cards to my friend's brother for that card. Because Golduck's kind of a show off and a, he's one of the most more powerful Pokemon. Yeah, whatever. Judge away. Be jelly. You don't know nothing about Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Cause wait till you get to the next freaking plane and guess what? Fucking Pikachu's real or some shit. Who knows? Oh, but hey, I get to do this now. We're gonna roll the dice one time and pull a goddess card. 
affirmation card, which it kind of sucks because I loaned them to my neighbor and she gave me the cards separate of three cards that she put in the glove box of her boyfriend's car and I don't know if they win or not, but I guess they do. And then I told her, well, I just, I had the satchel to put the cards in. I was ready to give them back, but now I'm missing three cards somewhere. Okay, anyways. And then we know how affirmations work. I'll do this, and then if you want to read it, you can go through, and you can pause it, and you can read it yourself. Five Second Street. Crystal Books. Distributed in Canada. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay. <sighs> I've never actually shuffled these. There's three of each one, so whatever one I pull, I'll see if I can find the other two for it. Thank you for watching. If you're still here, thank you, thank you. These are I don't not really shuffling cards. I have something I'm gonna start doing with letters too. There's videos of pie and cheese, and you can see how they like traded. They totally freaky fried, but like kept the same bodies. It's weird. Okay, I shall. the cover card yes it is the first card I ever fucking pulled out of this deck was a cover card okay triceratops you can go back there now okay so I'll find the other two for that Okay. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay, we'll see. Mind. 
I am in content in all circumstances. Goddess of Balance, I am content in all circumstances. Use this gift whenever you notice that you are discontent with the way things are. Try believing that things are the way they are for a reason you do not yet know. It may not be possible to maintain this belief at all times, but strive to return to the state whenever you are feeling discontent. Spirit, I create partnerships that are fair and pleasurable. Goddess of Balance. I create partnerships that are fair and pleasurable. Use this gift when you are lonely or when existing relationships are unsatisfying. Partners, partners you bring into your life are manifestations of your own needs for growth and completion. If your relationships are aggressive and defensive, you will manifest that in your daily life. Try to focus on being open and receptive instead because everybody has a message everybody if you might not like to hear it own it pick it apart you've left your own breadcrumbs here you're your own freaking gatekeeper here keymaster Who's gatekeeper? Woo! Key master! Okay. Goddess of balance. Body. I am attractive because I feel good about myself and others. Use this gift when you are unhappy with your appearance. Everyone needs to use this affirmation several times a day. Even classically beautiful people obsess over what they see as their physical shortcomings. A thoughtful, kind person who is genuinely interested in others is truly attractive. Ta-da! Wow. Couldn't have had better first time for that. And that's part of why I got the cards back from her because I wanted to do that. But five. Number of change. Allegedly, Mary Magdalene's number. All right. Trying to finish my sandwich. Which. I could. Which, 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 which. Oh, it's a witch hunt. <laughs> Anyways, peace out. Take it easy. Be safe. Mucho love. Love always wins. Mwah.